I read a book recently <coughs> by Carlo Rivelli, who's a physicist, and one of the reviews of it was Physics Has Found Its Poet. And that kind of encompasses what this book does, and it, it summarizes all the philosophy and physics about time that contradicts our linear perception of it. Both at a quantum level, like what happens at a quantum level, is like quantum gravity loop theory that I don't fully understand, but time is warped at a quantum level and also at a cosmic level. When gravity is in the mix of physics, time is warped. Even like general relativity, as much as physics in our world uses time as a parameter, as a linear parameter, there's a lot of physics at a quantum level and at a cosmic level that contradicts that and actually shows a subjectivity to time and a fluidity to time. Um, and kind of existential concepts like that really help with when I'm feeling existential or at least help with like the fluctuations or fluidity of life and help to yeah help to get under the conscious into the subconscious and really like abstract from the repetitive little worries and you know, I, I don't know. yeah it was really like eye-opening but could you just just like it was it's called the order of time by Carlo Rovelli okay. and it goes a lot into the philosophy and physics but also just on a normal human level we experience time subjectively and that's just a given that like, our oh, today passed so fast this hour's going so slow that shavasana at the end of the yoga class felt like infinite like we experience time subjectively that's that's just that's fact um, but yeah he really goes into the, the physics of of that at a particle level and, and like an astrology level. How do you I guess it, it ties into <laughs> what we were talking about before is on music being the language of waves. And the fact that at a quantum level, when you go beyond particles, you're looking at string theory and actually that everything's empty space, but everything's just vibrating little waves of matter that everything shares, like both at a human and material level. If you want to get like deep about music like that, it's, it's vibrating those, those little waves those particles especially at least personally low frequencies and bass music and I suppose yeah we also can feel timelessness when it comes to being at a night or at a dance or being like within the space of a sound system it can feel like time is warped 